So the first thing you want to do on your Zephyr build is to take the motor mount and cut it into that slot here and that top piece here is your thrust angle as many of you probably know and all what you have to do is cut about half an inch down which is say 13 millimeters for the metric people from the top bit of the thrust angle down to here and then just draw a line all the way around here and then just cut it out with a hacksaw blade and then do the same for the other side and then the hacksaw blade you cut out just enough to fit sorry about my phone just to fit the mount in and that'll fit nice into it so there's the lines drawn on 13 mils from the top there so what I'm going to do now is just take a hacksaw blade and just cut along that line the next thing that you want to do with your Zephyr build is to take the motor mount and just push it in to the slot you've already cut out and just see how that fits and just make sure that's the way you like it and that your motor fits on it best to glue the two wing halves together I'm not too sure what glue you're supposed to use but I'm probably just going to use hot glue as they don't need to be super strong because they've got the um, carbon spar that'll run all the way down there and same with the other side also another thing that you can do while the uh, glue's drying is just to cut off those all of these scattered over the plane with a razor or a Stanley knife whatever you have at home and just cut with the um, edge or the curve of the wing that way it's not a pocket in the wing and then once you've cut out all of those just sand the wing down trying to get rid of all of those so this is what the plane will look like after you've cut off all of those little things and sanded it down uh, glued the two halves together and epoxied or glued your um, motor mount in and I also you've just got to sand the bottom as well just so that way it's uh, smoother on that side as well uh, probably use 200 to over, probably over 200 grit sandpaper I was using 100 it's a little bit rough but I can probably just sand it down later on 